Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors and Turkey Trippin' 2023. Last night here in South Dakota, we roosted some birds pretty close to the car. So we're doing some Red Lens coffee. It's a little chilly this morning. And early. My farthest single guy out this direction. He started, he's not that far away. I should have two in this direction. First gobble this morning was 4.38. All right, I definitely got my two over here, and I got my one over here. The one on my left gets down, and he starts floating away from me, and then the two shut up completely. So I'm frozen here for a while, thinking possibly these two are coming up toward me. But after a good while, I decide I'm going to head toward where I'm hearing that single gobble and some hen talk. So I go down the drainage toward where those pair were roosted. I came down the drainage. I got some hens. And I just heard the gobbler. I think I can use this drainage. Maybe get ahead of them if they're gonna go down the big drainage.
all of a sudden, a big bird lands right in front of me. And it's a hen. She hit the ground at about 15 yards in front of me and walked into about 12 right there. So she's looking for me. Right about there she goes back to just walking regular, pecking the ground and heading back towards the flock across the meadow.
only right over here, not far at all. I might go back there, grab a couple things I forgot. I forgot the head can, and I forgot to grab my coffee cup this morning, so I only had a couple sips of coffee this morning. Cam. Coffee. Lukewarm. Not bad. <clears throat> 44 degrees. Yeah. It hasn't warmed up much. This was not the forecast. That evening I sit down in the spot where I was in the morning, trying to roost some birds. I did get one to roost nearby. I got a really good pin on him. He's roosted where the two were this morning, so he's above that meadow. Now I've previously made a ground blind in that meadow in case birds were to roost on that ridge again. So I've got a good plan for him. Cool morning here on Saturday, May 20th. It's pretty early, but yesterday's first gobble I heard was at 4.38, so we're getting out there. I get him the gobble, but the problem is he should have been at my 12.30, 1 o'clock, not my 9.30. What the heck, man? He was only right there. He had to have seen the decoy. I wish I had it facing any other direction. Because it's facing right at him. So he's, he's not seeing the white feathers or anything. I'm way over trust to go chasing things right now. After a while, I climb the hill behind me, try to locate some kind of a bird, and eventually one fires off. So I got below the, those guys on this valley. I haven't heard anything, and nothing's answered my call. But I did think I hear a gobble in this direction. I think I heard a gobble in this direction. And then I definitely heard a gobble in this direction, so we're off on a wild goose chase. Or a wild turkey chase, I guess. I mean, it was a good ways out. So I'm going to cover a bit of ground. And then sit and listen a while. And then maybe throw out a call or two. See if I'm anywhere in the ballpark. There's a chunk of private over here. Somehow, I find myself having to be concerned with private land out in the middle of all these acres of national forest. Now the same thing continues to happen. I have birds at night, I know where they are, I set up on them in the morning, and one way or another, they completely avoid me. Whether, it is, whether the hens walk off and drag the toms with them, or the toms just have somewhere else on their mind and they just go the opposite direction. But going on the couple of those wild goose chases I went on and chasing birds down got me to go into new areas, which was good because I, I saw some new places, got familiar with it, and that's where those birds wanted to be, so it's not a bad thing to know where they want to be and where they're going to. I have finally laid some eyes on birds. I see two hens, I believe. Well, what's that behind them? Yep, that's a long beard. I have spotted my first long beard in South Dakota. Holy crap. 
they are a ways out there and they're in the wide open but I can keep tabs on them we are going to I guess we're just gonna follow them looks like two hens and a long beard he's looking around oh strut okay yeah we're going to we're gonna make moves try to get up ahead of them hopefully the terrain converges and maybe I can just lay in ambush we'll see I've seen my first South Dakota Longbeard. He's got two hens. Let's go see what we can do. Now I'm also going crazy because I have this midday gobbler that I'm working with. The first two days I took a nap in the car and that joker hammered nearby. Didn't see him because I was in the car and had lots of obstructions in the way. So. The next two days, so days three and four, I slept outside of the car, 70, 80 yards away from the car, in a spot where I could be pretty well concealed laying there on the ground, and he woke me up both days. But when I open my eyes and scan around, I don't see anything, and I'm at ground level laying on the ground, and I don't see anything. So then I start to turn my head, I don't see anything, never see him. Day five, I decide I'm not taking a nap, I'm going to build a sweet ground blind. I'm going to face back toward my car, and then at about 1 o'clock, when I'm expecting to hear this ghost gobbler, my noon ghost gobbler, this goes rolling by. Not great timing. So that's pretty awesome. I dang sure wasn't going to see that bird that day. I'm also extremely tired and I'm making some dumb decisions. Partly because of this ghost gobbler that keeps waking me up and I don't get a really good nap. And partly because the nights are just so short there in late May. I'm very tired and I am doing some dumb things besides leaving my head cam and coffee in the car doing things like this. Remember I said I'm really tired and I'm afraid I'm gonna start doing stupid things. There's one. There's no good to lock the, the car up if you leave the door open. So that's the ways days three, four, and five have gone. I'm near birds in the morning. I hear something midday, and I hear them at night to get a location to set up on them in the morning. Night of day five, I've got another bird roosted. It's in a spot I did another wild goose chase on, but there's this beautiful green meadow in the middle of the woods that I'm really sure these birds want to come to in the morning but there's like a green grass shoot that comes down the draw and empties into this little green grass field or meadow over here. I got a spot picked out in a bush. I can cover that whole meadow from that bush. So I hope you join us for that video. If you like this one, give us that thumbs up. I do apologize for the length of this and the talking through and all that stuff, but as a lot of days, I've got a pile of footage. And anyways, I'm, I'm sorry for all that. Hit the subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.